watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. All right, welcome back to BBN Tonight. Now that the winter sports have wrapped up, still hard to kind of wrap my head around that. Spring is finally in the air for the eighth ranked Kentucky softball team. That's right. Softball played its biggest series of the season so far against number three Alabama. The Crimson Tide won the series 2-1, but the Cats battled close in both losses. Kentucky faced reigning pitcher of the year and former Kentucky Miss softball Montana Fouts twice, handing her her first loss of the season. Games were 2-4, 2-3, and Kentucky won the final match on Sunday. 9 to 4 with pitcher Sloan Gann getting her first SEC win in the process. Well, life doesn't get any easier for the Cats. College World Series runner up Oklahoma coming to John Crop Stadium tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. The Sooners, the nation's top ranked team. Anna talked with head coach Rachel Lawson about the challenging season so far and how her team is handling it. When we talked to the team right before the start of the season, a lot of the girls said they were most looking forward to this matchup with Oklahoma in Lexington. The number one team in the nation comes to town. What's the mood around the team this week? Oh, so exciting. They have a team like this coming into Lexington on a midweek. I mean, that never happens. I I'm sure we'll sell out tomorrow. Uh, it's a Tuesday. It's going to be a beautiful day. I, I, it's just so exciting to have somebody of this caliber spending the resources and time and money to come in. What makes the Sooners so good and what's it going to take to beat them? And who from Kentucky do you expect to step up? You know, they're just they're an all hands on deck sort of situation. That's how we're going to have to meet them. But they're, they're just so good because they're they're always older. They always have a very mature team. They they have mastered the transfer portal, to say the least. And, and they're just great both offensively and on the mound. So the run, you know, it you you're not going to be able probably to blank them. So you're going to have to be able to put some runs on them. So we're get, that's how we're going to be able to beat them is to figure out how are we going to be able to put some runs on that great pitching staff of theirs. And who from Kentucky are you expecting to maybe have a big game? Well, you know, lately you, you always got Kayla Kowalik. You know, anytime she's got a bat in her hands, you got a shot. And Miranda's daughter just had an outstanding weekend. You know, Aaron Coffel always, always just so feisty. Aaron, um, Lauren Johnson is having the season of her career right now. So we, we've got quite a few bats that I, I think are excited to ready to take their game to Oklahoma. Now you just kind of mentioned it there and it seems like you really make a point to schedule these top out of conference teams. Why is that so important to you? Well, when you're in the SEC, you can't hide. I mean, that that schedule is is demanding and, and like all great Kentucky people, your goal is to win championships. You know, the BBN expects it. You know, they put a lot of time and heart and effort into it. And, you know, the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you play top competition and you figure out how to beat them. So that that's my general philosophy. It's it's been working. We just got to figure out how to, you know, we've been knocking on the door, got to figure out how to, you know, basically kick it in and, and get that championship. Getting closer and closer. Not a bad way to start SEC play this weekend. Two close games and a win in the series against Alabama, who's number three. You all are the first team to hang a loss on Alabama pitcher Montana Fouts this season. What did that tell you about your team? Well, it just tells you how strong our offense is and the fact we have a lot of fight. I, I think that, uh, you know, when you go in there and you had so two close games, you had opportunities to win them. Some teams could have been defeated by that sort of situation, but our team took it as a positive. They learned, uh, they learned, they they were pumped about what they did well, and, and they figured out what they needed to do a little bit better. And, and now I think it gave them a lot of confidence going into tomorrow. For sure. And speaking of that, how do you prepare your team to play the number three team on the road, then host number one back to back? What are you What are you telling them? To be honest with you, our bus got in around two o'clock in the morning, so I'm hoping they got a little bit of sleep. They they all had eight nine o'clock classes, so. You can't work them too hard today because you don't want to risk the injury. But today we're just going to focus a little bit more on each individual person on little things that they could do to make them feel good to get ready for tomorrow. And then we'll just take our game to them to them tomorrow afternoon or evening, I guess. Yeah, you got to make them sleep. I was cracking up when we did media days. Um, it was right before you all flew out to start the season and a lot of the girls were like, oh, I'm just going to stay up all night. I'm not going to sleep. I was like, I'm not telling oh. your coach that. I'm not telling her. I did not hear that. <laughs> Pitcher Sloan Gann, she was on fire against Alabama through five complete innings in relief, allowing just one run on three hits and holding off one of the nation's best offenses to pick up her first career SEC win. How big was she for you all this weekend? Oh, 
Oh, she was outstanding. And I think the best part is she's been getting better and better every time. But, you know, she came in there, she shut him down one inning, the next inning got in a little bit of trouble. And she said, you know what, I'm just taking the ball and I'm pitching and what happens happens. And it was it was like kind of a, a big moment in her career that was, she was able to take control and just be so strong on the mound. So we were really excited for her. Such a hard worker, so resilient. And, you know, hoping she takes that momentum into future softball games. And that was your fourth win over a ranked team this season. You're sitting at number eight in the polls. Are you happy with where you are at this point in time? Well, yeah, you know, you're happy because, you know, first you got to figure out how to get into the postseason. So every time for me, you're just collecting wins. You're collecting wins. And, and with our schedule, that's not the easiest thing to do. So, you know, I'm happy with where we are in that regard. But as we move forward to the SECs, I, I still feel like we got a lot more in us and we got to clean some things up. And I feel good about that because if we were at our ceiling right now, I don't know how it would go. But since we're we're probably rolling at about 80%, I feel good about our chances as this season continues. Love that. It's all about peaking at the right time. After this Oklahoma game, what's the next biggest challenge on the schedule? Oh, well, you got Auburn coming in to John Crop Stadium, who is an outstanding team that, you know, arguably has one of the best pitching staffs in the country. Um, you know, so we just got to figure out that they got they got a great lefty and a power righty. And, um, you know, you look to, you know, at least win the series against Auburn when you're at home. So we're going to really after Tuesday night, we, we need a day off. And then on Thursday, we were just going to really retool and, and get ready for Auburn. Thanks, Coach Lawson, for her time. Best of luck to them tomorrow. There are just a couple of tickets remaining for that game. So if you want to see the Cats versus the Sooners, go to UKAthletics.com now. It's $2 Tuesday. $2, so hot dogs, popcorn, cotton candy, general admission, all just for half the price of a gallon of gas. First pitch, 7 o'clock. You're watching BBN Tonight. We'll be right back.